is Sadie. She loves playing with her friends, jumping in puddles, singing, dancing, and solving puzzles. But most of all, she loves mathematics. It's bedtime. She's thinking about a puzzle she hasn't solved yet. The pieces in her mind don't quite fit right. But Sadie has grit. She believes that when she works harder, she becomes even smarter. That if she stays with it longer, she'll become much stronger. That if she keeps on trying, she might just get it right. And she does. Her parents tuck her into bed with thoughts swirling through their heads. They wonder who she'll be one day, the job she'll have, the role she'll play. And they worry. She loves her numbers, but are the options too few? Dad smiles a knowing smile. Well, she got the love of numbers from you. Oh, the wonders that were yet to see. It was the age of information and endless possibility. For much in the world was about to change. So much had already, so recently. Drifting into a quiet slumber, she embarks on a journey to a place far away, the edge of her imagination in the corners of her mind to a place where time twists and twirls. Space that lengthens to higher dimensions like nothing she's ever seen before in this world. With her eyes closed in the depths of her dream, she sees the mysterious and exciting unseen. She imagines curved shapes with one-sided faces and discovers new pathways through unexplored mazes. Her parents still worry. They just don't know where her path will go until the realization, hey, you know, she could be a researcher, the theoretical kind even. She's certainly got the mind. I could see her working at the university or for a business even commercially. Sadie keeps on dreaming, but this time it isn't space that moves. She moves within it, soaring faster, higher, further than ever before in special cars, driving her straight to Mars. She dreams of a world filled with people and machines clever women helped to build. A world where she lives stronger for longer. Her thoughts are more advanced, her abilities enhanced. Man made machine, then machine made man. She isn't afraid. No, she's in command. With their worries fading away, her parents say, Oh, hey, she could be a software engineer, an engineer of any kind, even. She certainly got the mind to build robots, machines, our homes, the entire city. And they imagine doing that, she'd be quite busy. Sadie keeps on dreaming. Inside the mind of a computer, she peeks. She sees special codes, special ways to speak. Are all of their thoughts in ones and noughts? How can that be? The waiting computer awaits its tutor. And so she gives her first command, she says. Please bake me my favorite cake ever. Use any food and mix it however. She watches in awe as this machine turns her instruction into production. More delicious with every bite she tries, she watches in delight as this machine learns. Her parents are not worried at all anymore. They're excited. Look at all of these jobs just created. This one's the study of nature, how things are related. And I think you'll agree, we need better environmental policy. She could map out diseases, find reasons, help others believe in her numbers. There are numbers everywhere. And Sadie keeps on dreaming. But all she sees now are numbers and signs, facts and figures growing bigger and bigger. In and amongst it all, there's a crystal ball. The veil has lifted, the timeline has shifted fast forward a century to when our actions become memory. So we must ask ourselves now, what will be our legacy? Turning data into decision helps the environment we live in. 
helps businesses optimize, helps us live healthier lives, both in body and mind. Turning data into decision helps humankind. My name is Katie and I'm a mathematician. I wrote this story for a colleague's daughter who loves solving problems, just like I do. I wrote it to show her the wondrous worlds of science, technology, engineering, and of course, mathematics. I was just like her growing up, but I didn't dream of becoming a mathematician. I didn't even know I could be one, let alone know how rewarding a career it is. For me, when it came to choosing a career, I was at a complete loss. It was like choosing a career ticket from a hat. Only the options that went in were already biased towards careers I'd seen more of growing up, you know, the better understood ones, the, the more celebrated ones. I'd like to shake that up. Mathematics is a language we use to describe how complex systems interact. I'm using this language in my PhD work to describe water quality in river network systems and coral recovery in reefs, to even quantify the aesthetic value of Antarctica. I've seen algorithms that transform brain waves into a better understanding of our mental health, and a single formula that helped track down the wreckage of flight AF-447 lost to the deep sea for years in just a week. Science has recently detected cosmic ripples passing, passing through space-time, squeezing and stretching the very fabric of our existence. And with it, a century-old mathematical theory has manifested. That was one of Einstein's, by the way. The mathematics behind science is a powerful tool of insight that gives us the what, the why, and the how of the world around us. We understand what is happening by finding a formula to describe the system, what we call fitting a model. We understand why it's happening by interpreting the model and by studying the interplay of factors. And we understand how changes now impact our future and how certain we are of that happening. Or in other words, how cause turns into consequence. Just like a crystal ball, we harness the insights to see into our future and all possible futures. So we need the next generation of thinkers learning about science and mathematics now more than ever to help tackle the biggest issues of our millennia, like understanding the causes and consequences of our changing climate, irreversible tipping points in our ecosystems, how to mitigate a global pandemic, where lever points are in strategy, bottlenecks in supply, and how information or misinformation is spread across online platforms. We need the next generation of thinkers becoming scientists, engineers, and mathematicians. But how can you do something you've never even imagined? Or become someone you've never dreamed of? What if you've never seen yourself represented in science by someone else? Lack of diversity is problematic. Because without diversity, we are left with bias in the what, the why, and the how. There's this pervasive thought that numbers are the objective truth, but in reality, there's human input at every step of the way, from the data that's collected and the assumptions that are made to the interpretation of evidence and how all of that's used for decision-making. We need diversity of thought in the way we solve problems and in turn, make decisions. So I'll leave you with this. Mathematics is a profound instrument of insight that when fair and non-bias will pave the way into our future by turning data into decisions that helps humankind. So for those who dare to dream in numbers, keep on dreaming. Worlds of opportunity await.